Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another Earth Science screencast by your Earth Science teacher, Mr. Stano. And today we're going to go on to geologic history. Earth's past basically started around, I don't know, about 4.6 billion years ago. And really, ever since then, the planet has been changing to really what it is our present day situation. Um, these changes include a lot of weathering, erosion, plate tectonics like we've just learned about. So a lot has gone into it. Going back even further, about maybe 5 billion years ago, our solar system formed and our sun really became the center of our solar system. Going back even further than that, anywhere from 13 to 15 billion years ago, our, our universe formed with the Big Bang. And then from there, everything cooled down, cooled and cooled, got a little bit cooler, elements formed. From those elements, we were able to get able stars to form. Those stars formed clusters, those galaxies, and in some of those galaxies, such as the Milky Way galaxy is our own. Our little star, like I said, 5 billion years ago formed, and Earth formed soon after at 4.6 billion years ago. So from there, I'm going to take you through uh, a little bit more of Earth's history at that 4.6 billion years ago and moving forward uh, using pages 8 and 9 in our Earth Science reference table. So let me close this window and go into our reference table. And here it is, pages 8 and 9. So pages eight and nine of the reference table, as you can see here, uh, I kind of just merged them together and I'm going to show you where it starts and then kind of uh, the little journey as we go through. So let's go zoom in on this little area right here. Here we go. And let's zoom in moving and it all starts right over here. So you can see that it says estimated time of origin of Earth and solar system right here. And it corresponds with 4,600 million years ago or 4.6 billion years ago. So a long time ago, Earth uh, basically finally formed and it cooled. When it cooled, we got our oldest known rocks. So I'm going to put these in order from oldest to youngest. So this is being one, two. And then we see evidence of biological carbon. So something happens, some sort of life forms uh, beginning to form, being even older. Then early stromatolites and microfossils. Stromatolites are little these like colonies of um, these like bacteria that basically ended up forming these cool little structures that kind of stuck out in tidal regions. If we go a little bit more, We'll see that we get our oxygen produced um, by cyanobacteria. Notice that it took about 1.6 billion years or a little over a billion years for us to finally get something to produce oxygen and put that oxygen into our atmosphere. Prior to that, all this, so old, two, three, four, all of these things right here was basically a very little or no oxygen environment or very little O2, not much going on. It's not until we see this that oxygen's being produced. So in this period, all back here, 4.6 to about 3 billion years ago, not much. The uh, atmosphere at that time, mostly a lot of volcanic outgassing. So as the earth cooled, we got basically a lot of water vapor, carbon dioxide, and a lot of other gases trapped, some methane trapped within the earth. As it cooled, it's that st and with the earth still warm, that gassing had to come out, and it came out from volcanoes. So now all that material comes out. And it gives us the, the ingredients for life. We get these cyanobacteria really pumping these photosynthetic um, algae, basically pumping out oxygen into the atmosphere. And you can see here, oceanic oxygen begins to enter the atmosphere. So it took, oh, I don't know, anywhere from 4.6 billion years ago to 3 billion years ago. So you got about 2 billion years where very little O2 or no O2 is in the atmosphere. So all of these features, we're going to zoom out a little bit so we can get them all in. All of these features in this region are extremely old from here to here. 
all of this stuff, all of these events took place in the Precambrian. The Precambrian is probably one of the oldest, or well, is the oldest of the eons. And um, you can see it's split up into the Archaean and Proteozoic. And those are broken up also basically on just some events that have occurred, such as we've seen here. If we move ahead, we move on into the eon that we're in. We're in the Phenerozoic Eon. Like this. So here we are. This is the eon we're in, the largest timeline. So we're in the Phenerozoic Eon. Notice that eons are broken up into eras, into smaller timelines. Eras are broken up into periods, periods into epics. So it's pretty easy how do we see these time periods broken up. And usually the time periods are broken up on major events that have occurred. Just like the periods can be broken up by any uh, major extinctions that we might have seen or any forms of life that we had going through. So now let's go ahead in time a little bit more past the first sexually reproducing organisms that we see here. And this from here, the Precambrian, is going to really pose and pull us into the Phanerozoic. And let's take a look at what's happening there. So let's zoom out a little bit and go back. So now, if we look here, we're going back 1.3 billion years. So 1.3 billion years right here with abundant stromatolites. Moving forward, notice that we get some soft-bodied marine organisms and to great diversity of life forms with shelly parts. So you can see the evolution of life occurring here as we go forward in time. So from 1.3 billion years to basically 542 million years ago, uh, we didn't see really much happening. And then from here, things really started to change. So now we're in the Phanerozoic, and you can see that this huge amount of change, life is changing as we go through. Invertebrates, dominance, Earth's first coral reefs, your pterids, it's an important one. The fossils we can actually go down through on the bottom. And you can see as we're moving up, we get abundant fish. So we have insects forming, fish. From these fish, we also get sharks. So you can see this the evolution or the 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 timeline which we started seeing the organisms that some are around today and some aren't. Extensive coal forming forests. Remember these forests right here. Huge amount of carbon when that material is basically dies and gets left behind and covered and buried uh, through many different rock formation properties actually form the coal that uh, we use today. Then we move on to reptiles and, and mammal like reptiles. And it isn't until here, extinction of many land and marine organisms, that we see a new jump into life with the dinosaurs and our earliest mammals. Earliest mammals, very small creatures, kind of hiding in within the footsteps of our dinosaurs. Eventually, as we move up, we see the mass extinction of dinosaurs, and it's right here. It's right here at this extinction that pretty much allowed us to kind of evolve into what we are today. With the extinction of dinosaurs, it allowed space now for mammals to come about and really fill a lot of the ecological niches that the dinosaurs once were. And, and you can see here, here we are, humans right up on top, within the Pleistocene, right at the end of the Pliocene and into the beginning of the Pleistocene, we see 1.8 million years ago, humans starting to walk the earth. And here we are today in the Holocene. This is where we are. So if we had to look through this, Let's zoom out so we can kind of get a better look. We would be in the Phanerozoic, Cenozoic era, Quaternary period, Holocene epoch. And it's pretty much like that. They don't expect you to memorize everything in this table, but you need to just be kind of familiar with what's happening in the table. All the dates associated with a lot of this is right here in this part of the column. So you can go through here and kind of correlate dates with actually what's happening in the earth science reference table. 
So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. I don't really want to go into it too much more than this, um, but it's just a brief outline of those basically first five, four columns where we really get to see kind of the dynamics of the changing of the earth from about 4.6 billion years ago when it formed all the way up until now. Hope you enjoyed this screencast. Take care and good night.